Something is amiss in America. How can we as a nation allow our government to wage a war on terror that they promised us will not end in our lifetimes based on events that were never fully investigated? What I want to know is, will America really allow Rudy Giuliani to succeed the decider as Fuhrer of this country? Do you really want to give this man above the law executive privileges when he still holds answers to so many unanswered questions of that day? The real questions have yet to be explored and the real investigation still awaits to be done. The health department has done uh, tests and at this point is not concerned but so far all the tests that have we've been we've we've done do not show an undue amount of asbestos it doesn't show any particular chemical agent that we have to be concerned about the the accumulation of it for people who are down there can become very very uh, irritating and there were a lot of people whose eyes have been burned and but I, but, I, but I don't think there's any chemical agent that we have to worry about Mr. at this Mr. point. Ask Giuliani why he testified at a press conference that the air quality after 9-11 had been found to be non-toxic and largely free of asbestos by health department standards when in truth the air was nothing more than a toxic brew of deadly poison and remains so for months after the initial collapse of the towers. Well, critics wanted an apology from former EPA Administrator Christine Todd Whitman, but they didn't get it, even when lawmakers used Whitman's own words against her. Just two days after the September 11th attacks, the head of the Environmental Protection Agency said this about air quality at Ground Zero. Everything we've tested for, which includes asbestos, lead, and VOCs, have been below any level of concern for the general public health. Tens of thousands of rescue and recovery workers spent countless hours at the site. Nearly six years later, many are sick. One study finding 70 percent have suffered some sort of respiratory illness. We have accumulated a mountain of evidence that tens of thousands of those exposed, including 10,000 firefighters, are suffering from chronic respiratory diseases and increasingly from a, rare, from a variety of rare cancers. But at today's hearing, Whitman insisted her comments about safe air and water were aimed at people living and working near Ground Zero, not those directly involved in the cleanup. And she angrily denied deliberately putting the public at risk. Everything I said was based on what I was hearing from professionals. My son was in Building 7 on that day, Congressman. And Governor, and I no, almost lost Governor, him. no one, Governor, as it is Governor, one, and I would no, 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 Governor, excuse me, ever. I'm not going to allow you to turn this into a personal thing. It's personal for the people it's out here. It's personal with everybody. It's personal to the and people out here, too, Governor. Whitman's critics, some of whom traveled from New York by bus, wanted an apology. But Whitman said the EPA warned Ground Zero workers to wear protective gear and said if there's anyone to blame, it's the terrorists. Well, since the attack, several independent government reviews have faulted the EPA's handling of the 9-11 aftermath and the agency's long-term cleanup efforts. In Washington, Sonia Diener for The Swamp. post 9-11 appeared to be very heroic but now mm -hmm. they're saying that he was not that efficient in helping the people who were the um the recovery the speakers, the yes. responders well, also he was you know instrumental in making sure that all of the steel was removed and shipped to canada right away
Giuliani was six shipped to China, sorry, right away. For what purpose? Well, to get it out of there and to have, you know, all of the stuff, but it was all gone. So there was no, like, metal to test. There was yeah. no, there was so no. So he was melted down Giuliani and was trying to cover no, up? No, it takes, the, yeah. the, 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 the what? Saying he now Giuliani was involved in the cover-up, is that what's going on? I just want to check because I, look, here's what I think is happening, and, and I think it's kind of sad because we're getting closer and closer to the election. Giuliani seems to be up until this point like the front runner, right, for the Republican except Party. For his, except yeah. for his but left yeah. of I mean, center domestic have at this positions, point, right? He's, right? I mean, Mitt Romney's coming up a little bit, right. but he's got his own challenges. I think Giuliani at this point really has yeah. been the number one horse for the Republicans. Yeah. Compared to the so rest of them, he seems like a model. genius. Well, right. then to the rest of them, of a in the Republican he's not Party a hero. right he's now. He's been a hero right up until no, no, the election. Well, because oh, now, you know, how many man. years later, there's 40,000 people dying of 911-related right, illness. Right, Those right. workers who went down there, 40,000. One guy in Nanuet, right where I live, just died in his home. Yes. He was 40, younger than me, went down there every day for two mm. months looking for his brother firefighters. The guy died of lung cancer. Right. These well, people are dying at an unprecedented rate. Yeah. And they knew that the air there was toxic. Well, let me, let me read you what it says here, according to a document that they now said that the, while the city had a safety plan for workers, it never meaningfully enforced federal requirements that those at the site wear respirators. Right. They didn't enforce that Our particular masks. rule. And a lot, of these, not to. a lot of these guys, and I guess women too, were annoyed with them when they put them on because they interfered no, with their job. No, no, those were not respirators. Those were Home Depot masks right. that they want you to wear when you're spray yeah. painting. Right. The respirators they need was to prevent the carcinogenics from getting in their lungs, they were not which prepared. is now killing them. Them. Right. Yeah. But you understand, 3,000 people died yeah. that day, 40,000 are dying yes. of 911. This stuff took a toll on a lot of people already, and I knew it would, though. You know, because I'm smelling the smoke. My throat, I'm having a hard time um, swallowing now, and I know that's from down there. I went and had another checkup at Mount Sinai because they're the people who's handling the 9 the 11 victims that work down there. I got sick down there a few times. I got bronchitis a few times. I guess time will tell for the physical effects for, for all of us. Hopefully it'll all work out. I mean, one thing, the iron workers that were down there weren't off. There was only one spot for us, and that was on that pile, cutting steel.